to be or not to be, to smell your teacher's poop or not smell your teacher's poop. Hi there, I'm Rue. Welcome to my video and welcome to an unexpected Reddit reading. I know I usually do Reddit readings on Fridays. I am going to do one on Friday, but you know, it's Monday and I felt like some Reddit and I found the most bizarre, hilarious story. So why not? On Am I the Asshole, of course, because your girl is addicted. <laughs> Am I the asshole for leaving the classroom after my teacher shat herself? The title alone is insane. I swear to God, this post is not a shit post, pun intended, and I don't doubt you all for not believing it. Our school served some Mexican food which did not react well with our stomachs. Many people were a bit gassy that day. My literature teacher shat herself last Friday at school, and the stench was horrible. She tried to pretend like she didn't shit herself, but it was so obvious. She kept wiggling and she refused to get up, asking students to wipe down the board and write stuff she would normally write. Everyone was whispering, saying they think the teacher shat herself. The smell progressively got worse and worse. One of the students wrote something wrongly and the teacher literally scooted on the chair all the way across the room and she had to stand up a bit to draw and that's when we saw the shit on her ass. People started snickering. She sat down and went back to teaching. The smell, however, continued to be more and more unbearable. I couldn't take it and I just packed my stuff and left. So did some other classmates. She said, where do you think you're going? The bell did not go off yet. Sit down, we still have 20 more minutes. I said, I'm sorry, the stench is unbearable. She then said, what stench? I don't smell anything. Now sit down and stop interrupting class. Me, ma'am, sorry, but this is just too much to handle. I'll cover this lesson at home and in the hallway, but we need to go. She then says, sit down, now. All of you, this discussion is over. Stop interrupting class. This is the part where I think I'm the asshole. I then said, you pooped yourself. That's what interrupted class. I'm sorry, but I can't stand to be in a room where someone pooped themselves. After I and some others left, more joined us. I think eventually half the class left. She ended up crying and then dismissed the whole class five minutes later. Honestly, I feel horrible. I really do, but she was pretty rude to us. We later got called in by the principal who said we were incredibly disrespectful to the teacher and I got put on probation and possible suspension to come. The teacher did not show up today at school. That is just, oh my god. I don't think you're the asshole, no. The fact that she refused to acknowledge what was happening and pretended like y'all were being rude for not wanting to be in a room that smells like feces? I get her feelings are hurt, but there's like, this is not the adult way to do things and being like rude to your students for not wanting to deal with your actual feces smell. It's just shocking. I'm just like mind blown. Like, why wouldn't she just be like, actually, I need to excuse myself and go to the bathroom or something. What on earth inspired her to just sit there in her own poop, continuing teaching? Like, I'm just, oh my God. I'm also kind of shocked that the principal would be like, no, you're rude for leaving when, sh when your teacher literally went to the bathroom in her pants and forced you to sit there and smell it. It's just like, I feel sympathy for anyone who might shit themselves because obviously you won't do that on purpose. But for you to then be like, no, you have to sit here and endure this smell. And like, I'm going to use my teacher authority over you to force you to endure this like nothing's happening. And then pretending like you're lying when you're saying that there's a smell. It's just so, just so out there. So out there. Like, I feel like this could have been easily managed. Yeah, it's hella embarrassing. Yeah, you're probably going to have to take the L. But you know, if you shit yourself, no matter who you are, what position you have, it's time to just be like, you know what? Either slink away or be like, you know what? Goddamn, that food was bad. I hope y'all are feeling okay. But you know what? I think I just shit myself. It's better to be the teacher who has like a sense of humor about it and just be like, you know what? I'm going to go fix this and, you know, maybe teach your students that it's okay to fuck up. And even if you shit yourself, you can... You can go out in style instead of this. It's just bizarre. 
<laughs> do comment below what do you think about this this is just an insane story i feel like a lot of people will say that it's fake but i feel like there's every possibility that it's true because sometimes reality is just so crazy it sounds insanely fake but I've had teachers who are like this, who have this like authoritarian personality where they treat their students as if they're like inferior human beings and everything the students do are wrong and like they they could never be like as knowledgeable as the teacher and the teacher is always right. If that kind of teacher accidentally shat themselves, if that person has no, you know, sense of humor to be able to deal with this, this could very likely happen. <laughs> But yeah, comment below, what do you think? Fake, not fake? If it did happen to you, what would you do? If you were the teacher, what would you do? If you were the student, what would you do? Comment below. So I hope you enjoyed that story. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. Thank you so much to my wonderful patrons, Katbra, Mandirene Avurska, Kami, Ellie, and Very Floppy. If anyone's interested in becoming my patron, there's a link below. But no matter what, thank you so much for stopping by. Every view counts. And thank you for keeping my channel alive. See you tomorrow, huh? Okay, love you. Bye.